What's happening guys, it's Stu here from Trial Talk and in this video we're going to look at sand and cement rendering in extreme temperatures. We've had a lot of hot weather lately, um, just completed a small rendering job. The sun was on me, so we're going to look at how we get around that if you do need to do some cement rendering in the heat. If you're a plasterer watching this video guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. We cover everything plastering related on and off the tools. Let's get going. Right then guys, so the first thing to mention as with all plastering projects is the primer. Now regardless of whether you're working in uh, high temperatures, high humidity or not, um, primers are obviously an essential part of, uh, of your plastering project. Um, what I've done to tackle the high humidity, the high temperature, is I've applied this SBR chemical neat straight out of the tub. So no water, it's not been watered down at all guys. So the first step is to basically slow suction down as much as you can. So the temperature of this wall is higher than normal because the sun has been on the wall and it's warmed the wall up, basically. So the next job, guys, is to get these beads on. As you can see, I've just trimmed down the wing of the bead there. Um, there's quite a, a narrow reveal on the window frame, as you can see. And we've just used some pink grip, guys, just to bond these beads into place. Now I've waited and waited till the afternoon, till the sun has shifted out of my way before getting this scratch coat on and that's an important part of this video. As you can see the shadow there on the wall, um, the sun is not directly on the wall and it's almost completely out of the way. So there's your first two tips when rendering in extreme heat guys, seal your wall up well and stay out of the way of the sun. Okay, next let's talk about the mix and talk about additives. So I've got a three in one waterproofer here, guys. Waterproofer, plasticizer, and retarder. That goes in. Um, I've also added some SBR onto the scratch coat as well. And one more secret ingredient, guys, hydrated lime. So a big generous shovel of this stuff goes in the mix and that plasticizes and retains moisture as well in this extreme heat so right let's get this stuff chucked on get it scratched and we're on to the next step i mentioned earlier guys that the, the temperature of this wall is quite warm it's still warm where the sun was on it now normally on a, a cloudy day um I'll typically hose this wall down and fire the scratch coat on with no, no dramas at all. But I'm conscious of the temperature of this wall and it, the humidity is really, really high. Um, so I've been hosing down every meter. So I'll basically put a meter on, scratch it up, and then I'll hose down the next section. And just continue along like that each each meter hosing down and the goal is to retain that moisture in the mix so the mix doesn't dry out too quickly okay guys day two on this sunny rendering project um, and i've got the old pins out as well my translucent pins i know what you're thinking when's the last time did i go on holiday my arms ain't too bad they're nice and brown yeah, legs are a bit translucent, guys. So I'm hoping by the end of this week, there'll be a nice shade of golden brown. Either that or I'll just look like some sort of half-cooked lobster. Anyway, let's get this uh, scraped down and hosed down, ready for the top coat. So just like before, guys, the aim, the goal is to retain moisture in that mix. So I've hosed down this scratch coat twice and again every meter i'm hosing the wall down to control suction and keep my moisture in the mix stop it drying out now if i didn't do this um on a day like today 
in the extreme temperatures uh, the render would likely dry out way too fast um, lose its integrity lose its bond strength and then it, there's risk of it um, basically failing and delaminating so keep your wall hydrated plenty of lime in your mix try and hit your job either early doors or later in the afternoon follow behind the sun and uh, you won't go far wrong Now the timings on this one actually worked out pretty good. So for every meter that I was chucking on, I had about 15 or 20 minutes before the rub up, um, which was about bang on. So that gave me time just to sort of clean down and keep on top of the mix, keep the mixer spinning. And I wasn't chasing my tail too much. So the suction was about perfect, if I'm honest, just the right amount of lime in the mix. The wall was um, hydrated nice and again keeping out of the way of that sun. So you can apply sun and cement render in extreme heat providing you follow these steps guys. And I hope this video um, has helped you out if you, if you have got a job where it can't be moved and it needs to get done, it needs to get bashed out. Um, again, keep out of direct sunlight, um, plenty of lime. Put some waterproofer in there, keep your wall hydrated, obviously keep yourself hydrated. And um, yeah, I don't, you'll go far wrong. I hope this has helped you out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one, guys.